The group stage of the Women's World Cup featured a series of eps, upsets and surprises. The USA team edged into the second round after a nail-biting tie with Portugal on Wednesday. After three subpar efforts, the two-time defending champion plays Sweden early Sunday in Melbourne and will have to step up their game to avoid elimination. Nancy Chen made the trek all the way to Australia to cover the tournament, and we followed along. Here we go, going through the streets of New York right now on my way to the airport. The journey from the city that never sleeps to the land of Oz is a long one. This is going to be a really fun adventure. With nearly 10,000 miles separating New York City and Sydney, one of the nine cities hosting this year's Women's World Cup, it's the first time the tournament has been split between two countries, Australia and New Zealand. Just landed. I am in Australia. The coastal city, home to about 5 million, is known for its famous opera house. And of course, this. This is a hike. <laughs> On the Sydney Harbour Bridge climb, tours can climb for up to three and a half hours. This is it. This is it. We made it. For a view nearly 450 feet up of the world's largest and deepest natural harbor. We're standing on top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge right now, the tallest steel arch bridge in the world, overlooking this beautiful city, including a rather familiar site down below. Why is it so famous? Um, well, you gotta look at it. It's iconic. Look at those arches. And even from the ground, the views are spectacular. Every year, nearly 11 million people visit the Sydney Opera House, one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world. All that exploring works up quite an appetite, and few dishes are as quintessentially Australian as the meat pie. Can I do the beef beer, bacon and cheesy potato mash pie, please? David McGinnis co-owns Bourke Street Bakery, which began as a tiny corner shop and has turned into a Sydney institution. Sport is where you're eating a pie quite often. It's something you can hold in one hand and eat while you're cheering. What pie is this? This one is beef red wine mushroom. Cheers. Mmm. Flaky and rich, these popular meat pies are just one of the many diverse culinary options here, with influences from all over the world. The food we eat has developed as um, an amalgamation, I guess, of all the different cultures that have come to Australia. It's a real so mix. It is a real mix. We are checking off three bucket list items, New Zealand, Australia. Women's World Cup. The Hathaway family is some of the estimated 55,000 foreign visitors to the country hoping to take in the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and of course, the soccer. USA! USA! Fans here in Melbourne are excited for the knockout stage, as are the players. The U.S. team is now here in town. We just came from their practice as they get ready for Sunday's big matchup. By the way, I do have a surprise for you this morning. Those meat pies in our story, they come from that bakery, Bork Street Bakery, which happens to have a few New York locations. So you're supposed mm. to share these meat pies with friends. We have some for you so you can have a little taste of Australia there back in the States. What, really what kind of meat is it, Nancy? Because I, I can't eat lamb. Looks what like kind so of ground beef, <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh, ground okay. beef. Ground well, beef. I'm told okay, ground you beef. have a ground beef, yes. A classic okay, Aussie good. meat pie, much like the one I had. I uh, ground beef. Chicken pot pie and spiced veggie vegan. And there's also a little mm. bit of uh, tomato sauce that you're supposed to use on a side. So oh. it's, it's a delicious, nice dish Nancy. to have in your hand. You're supposed to put it in your hand and eat it that way. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, all right. Well, then oh. let's go That's for it. That's what I did. Go ahead, Nate. savory. Go ahead, Nate. All right, let's do this. <laughs> this is going to be messy. Kind of giving me a chicken pot pie. pie vibes. My meat pie is very tasty. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy, we can't wait to watch you in action there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you are very brave. I would like to try the you chicken. You are brave. Oh, never mind. Well, I'll put mind. my fingerprints yeah. all over it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but, my Nancy, man. it is very... But, Nancy, how did you feel about doing the bridge? Because I've done that Sydney bridge. I think that's a very cool thing to do, and I'm scared of heights. How would you do? I, I am actually a little scared of heights, too. I didn't tell the team I was with that I am actually terrified of heights <laughs> until we were up there. But that being said, it was absolutely gorgeous. It's nice to see it from up in the air. 
some beautiful It really is. View. Don't forget to come back, Nancy. Good luck on Sunday. Have fun. Have a good time.